Welcome to the double episode, y'all. We've been arrested in Paris, had a two-time world heavyweight champion press us, been arrested at the PGA Tour. Sneak onto the cricket field in front of thousands of people and make them join the super... <laughs> breaking the law in another country that I don't know, and I could get deported. That's light work. So we entered the stadium and I put Jid in the perfect spot to get on the field. All Jid had to do to make this a success was just Insist. stay under the radar until I gave him the signal. India! India! Nobody wants to hop. Hey, my man, representing. I'm the James Anderson of India. Just came over to show support, you know? Boo! Boo! So we're here at the stadium. We've got my good friend right here. Sorry, what's your name? Pusha. And you're supporting India? Yeah, I'm supporting India. Oh, okay. You're going to get smoked. But I heard you got a good batsman. Yeah, I mean, we've got fun playing right now. Rahul Jadion. Sorry? Uh, Jadion, he's a good batsman of yours, right? Yeah, he's a good I'm looking forward to seeing him. We're in and we're good right now. Vito's saying that some security guards had clocked us already. I'm gonna go say what's up. Y'all like the fit? <laughs> Team India all day. <laughs> you know, I'm just trying to look a little icy out here. Are you a vlogger or something? No, no, I'm not a vlogger. I actually make um, adult films. Oh, okay. <laughs> so meet someone here and then just like make a film together, make love. With Hello. Oh, wow. This is great timing. Nice to meet you guys. So they watch some of my content. Oh. Yeah. The kids. Of Ted I think I'm the cricket equivalent of Peyton Manning. I know how to read the field, big forehead, I'm white, or I identify as white, but I'm just Team India. <laughs> Where am I from? Bangladesh. Yeah. India are going to lose to England today. <laughs> well, you think you know cricket better than me? <laughs> Is there ever people who like run on the pitch? Nah, that would be mental. If so I'm like the guy was pretending to be in the Indian team. What we were waiting for was for a batsman to get bowled out so once he walked off, Jid would be able to walk on and take his place. Over here! Oh. I'm not gonna lie, I think I should be out there. Or shadow. Oh! oh. Of course, so who do we support today? So, my mum and dad obviously born in India. Yeah. I'm born here, so I'm, born, I'm supporting England. Supporting England? Yeah. So, you're snaking your mum and dad? I'm not snake, you know. Because if you told me right now, I'd support yeah. India. All right, that's it. I'm supporting India with you then. Come on, India! Come on, India! Let's go, India! Let's go! Come on! Let's go! Then the time came for me to give Jid the signal to get onto the field, and the question was, would he fold or would he pass? Yo, yo. Yo, yo. Next time someone goes out, that's when. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you, do you guys have where I'm at? Uh, where, where are you? We're at Hobgoblin, but to my left, it says bash. It's like some red bash. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. What the fuck are you about to do? What? I feel like the bat might bring too much attention. I'm not going to lie, it'll be pretty sad if I let this, like, stop. They're going to, like, get out there fast. Damn. Like, Demarcus. Damn. Demarcus Jr.? <laughs> wow. Wow. Right when I hopped over, my feet touched the grass. I felt free. I was on the pitch with my Indian brothers. Nothing could stop me. My black niggas. I gotta help them out. Bring him back. We love you. Except for the cricket security team. India! India! <laughs> Motherland! <laughs> the motherland! <laughs> I can't believe he did it! He did it! That's crazy! I couldn't believe it when I saw Jid running on the field in that way. Number yeah. one night, he's very slow. But also, I was very impressed at the fact that Jid was willing to do that. I didn't know he had that in his locker. And seeing him running on the field, it, it really impressed me. You don't have to hurt my arm. You kind of hurt my arm. Yeah. I'm not going to do nothing, bro. You kind of hurt my arm. I'm not going to run away. <laughs> like I do it for India. Being real with you, my friend, that was my friend who went on the pitch. Really? Yeah. I actually told him to do that. <laughs> They're gonna ban him on the pitch now, right? So he's probably um, in prison. <laughs> Hopefully. It's a bit silly, isn't it? I thought it was like baseball in America. You thought it was like baseball in America? Yeah, we always run out of And when they say anyone encroaching on the pitch gets arrested. Nico never relayed to me that I was gonna get arrested. I mean, I thought I was just gonna get kicked out of there. Yeah. There I was, getting interrogated by English police. The only thing that boosted my morale was hearing the crowd chant, Jarvo, Jarvo. Look at them, screaming a man's name that's not even mine, just like my ex. Gotta love him. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 really 
It's also a criminal offense. You are going to be arrested. Uh -huh. yes, stop! Stop! We need you guys to hit that like button right now. Oh, yeah. What about TikTok? TikTok? Oh, Little Nas. Yeah. Little Nas X. That's a singer. Little Nas X. Yeah, I do rap too. Little that's a singer. Got represent for India. Got India! <laughs> India! India! <laughs> Now that that's done, do you have any intention on watching this? Yeah, not really. Nah. No. Okay, well, it's time to go. It was time for me to leave the cricket stadium and locate Jid just to make sure he was being arrested for a good few months. He's with you though, isn't he? Because he's the one that followed you outside. I don't know. He might just be a fanboy. So who's got your phone? That man there. That man right there. Are we able to get his phone from that one there? He's got to beat him up, rough him up a little bit, you know? The thing is, my favourite player, he got bowled out. To be fair, he wasn't even able to play. Like, they carried him out before he could even do it. Don't try and re-enter. Yes, sir. Because guess what? You're quite distinctive. I'm the only black guy watching cricket, so... Well, you're, pretty... not. you're not the only black dude in there uh, watching I didn't see cricket. any. I didn't well, see okay. any. But didn't what see you are, he's probably the only American black dude with an India shirt <laughs> with that on the back. In one of my most dire <laughs> hours, fully surrounded me. I had nothing to look forward to. But then... Out of the corner of my eye, I remembered seeing Nico pleading my case with the English police to let me go. I'm not gonna lie, he's actually a pretty good dude. Complete idiot streaking on the game, ruining the match. Bro, man. come on, man. It was just all a good fun, idiot. bro. It was Shame just for fun, man. <laughs> you arrested him. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm, I came down here just to watch the game. Yeah, fair enough. And, and then he's just running on, on the pitch, just inter interfering. You'll be dealt with. Can I go back to India, though? Would I be able to go to their game? You can go to India. I don't want to see him in a cricket match. That's all I need to know. I rep India. Thank you, guys. Subscribe to T-Series. He's getting away. What's his name? Jarvo. Subscribe to T-Series. I was fuming. I wanted him locked up for a good six to eight months so I didn't have to compete in this stupid series. Like I said, man, I came here to win, and I'll play around. This next one, for sure going to make him fold. Hold on. This one in the tank for a while. You see, this one means a lot to me because I visualized it perfectly. Nico, he likes to put people in awkward situations. So I'm gonna take a page out of his own book and put him in an awkward situation. I had him meet me at a random street in LA and the plan was in motion. Jid, Jid, Jid. So you got me here to walk. You couldn't just tell me to Uber to, straight to the suit shop. No, nope. we're gonna go through the whole process together. Well, maybe it's, this is gonna be a fake robbery. You're gonna see if I get scared. Oh, you, you're gonna guess him, bro. That's, that's the one right there. Jid had me walk around the streets for absolutely no reason. It was a good start and a reason why I hate that man. The baby right there is gonna tell you everything that we're about to do. Ma'am, it's time. Please have your baby tell him. <laughs> London. How do I look? There's people there. There's people right there. So we walk into this theatre, and the first thing that comes to mind is that this is some type of French TED talk, because cest is it is in French. What's wrong, bro? So what, what are we going to be talking about? Huh? Come on, nigga. What's so wrong? <laughs> hey, how are you? Yeah, yeah, the man of the hour is here. This is the guy. Hey, man, how are this you? is the guy. Nice to meet you, my friend. Nice to meet you. I'm going to wire you up real quick. You know the topic yeah, of this, my friend. When I went on Logan Paul's podcast, Impulsive, I was talking to him before the show, and he was telling me how he invited Nico on as well, but Nico didn't want to come because apparently he has a fear of talking for long periods of time, especially podcasts. Then it hit me. If this man is afraid of talking on a podcast with three other people, imagine making him go up on a stage and talk to a crowd of tons of people about a horrific topic. So, I set him up for a talk. Gotcha. A TED talk. I've heard on multiple occasions how you're not really well at public talking and everything. I don't like public talking, man. You don't? No, so, I don't. that's why I want you to get over that phobia, man. It's true, I don't like public speaking. Believe it or not, it's my biggest fear. And somehow, Jid managed to find this out and use it as ammo against me. Out there, we have a group of people, and I have a presentation for you. And you don't have to go through the presentation and give a well-delivered speech, well thought out and everything. So it's presentation? Presentation. Okay. Hmm. What's this presentation about? You'll figure out when you get out there, man. I mean, you saw the title of it. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. But if you don't know, you'll see soon. He was probably in his head thinking, how do I know about his deepest, darkest fears? Nico, I'm the biggest menace. I know everything. Is he all good? He's all good. He's all good. Good luck, Chad. Hello, everyone. We're doing well. When 
I went out there, my heart was racing. There were so insist. many people, and I had no idea what I was even going to talk about. I see we've got a great audience, and my name is Nicole Malana. I just want to introduce myself to you all, and we've got a nice talk going on today. So, uh, without further ado, should we get started? Yeah. yeah? Good crowd. Good crowd. Sorry, sometimes there's a delay. All right, well. I don't know if this was just a sick part of the prank, but the whole presentation wasn't working, which meant I was just stood there looking like an idiot. <laughs> and I didn't know how to get it to start. Sometimes you've got technical difficulties, so can we get like a mechanic on the stage or am I just going to have to keep pushing it? Sorry, everyone. I don't really know what's going on. Just give me one moment, please, OK? It's, it's not working, my friend. Yeah, that was definitely part of the plan for the presentation to stop working. I'm the biggest menace. Sorry about that, everyone. My apologies. Technical difficulties. It's my first show in LA. Okay. Why incest should be Today's legal? Today's TED talk is why incest should be legal. Wow. You guys just need to hear me out. All right? Are you serious? Lame. The first Go. thing he wants me to do is tell the world that I'm an incest, Donny. I hate that bald-headed prick. What's an incest? To this day, I can't believe it. Incest is the act of when an individual has hardcore, hot, steamy, intense, hardcore sexual intercourse with his or her's own family member. Oh, like, it's when you fuck your cousin. When? Okay. Like it or not, we are all collectively a byproduct of incest. Therefore, it is only natural. Yeah, we are a byproduct of incest because Adam and Eve, boom, they only two humans on earth. And then after that, there was nobody else. What do you think Abel and this other world? How did they produce children? We are all a product of incest. So she, I might be Mark Zuckerberg's cousin. Just saying, I might be Mark Zuckerberg's cousin. I might be Jay-Z's cousin. I might be, I might be, you know what I'm saying? Even Mark Zuc I might be just Elon Musk's cousin. Why? Because we all come from Adam and Eve. <sighs> The incest must be legal. Think back to your first kiss. It was probably with that one cute guy or girl in the back of your seventh period math class. Mine, however, was with my cousin at the age of 14. Well. All right. I think the worst part of the whole incest talk was the fact I was made to say vivid details of my own experiences. Whoever wrote <laughs> that is some sick individual. They are ill and they need help. What's your cousin's name? You there in the pink dress, what's your cousin's name? You, do you have any cousins? You have plenty, so plenty of options. <laughs> well, you wouldn't mess with that. Well, you'd, be, you'd have a lot more of an easy time finding like a significant other if you focus on your cousins, or in some cases, your brother. All right, side note, could I get some water, please? That'd be nice. If I could get some water. My throat was so dry, so I asked for some water, and this was so inhumane. It, it literally fell on deaf ears. No one wanted to help me. If not, no stress. All right, let's, let's keep it going. Nigel really thinks that we're going to help him out. No, we're here to watch you suffer. Adrian Houghton, a notable genetic professor, has proven that children who are born from a male and female outside of their family turn out to be lower quality form of human. He also mm. adds that those who are born from the likes of incest naturally have a higher form of integrity. Oh, Am I shit. winning anyone over so far? There we go, brother. Smart guy. All right? I was hoping for the audience to get up and stone him to death, really. Like, I want them to be completely disgusted. You know, some sicko that actually agreed with the things he was saying. Let's continue. Let's continue. Access to videos has proven to leave a negative impact on the mind because of the false expectations that are broadcasted in these videos. All right? I have a four inch dick. See, as long as you're, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Damn. See, as long as you're proud, ain't nothing wrong with it. But I'm okay with that. And oh. why am I okay with that, you ask? Me too. Because my sister, Perfectly accepts me for who I am. Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Four inch dick. There was absolutely no reason for Nico to say that whatsoever. 
No more STDs. No more STDs. As a child growing up, my favourite NBA player was none other than Magic Johnson. So after I heard the news that he had contracted HIV, it broke my heart. My cousin had HIV. Your cousin? Yeah. Your actual family member? Yeah. Probably because she was sleeping with someone outside of your family. Sorry. Celibacy. Celibacy? Yeah. But why on earth would you, like, restrict yourself from the pleasures of life? I wouldn't want anyone else's stuff unless it's my family member. <laughs> That's not bro, sir. It's literally natural. Do you think you've got any family who have done that in the past? Maybe you should look in the mirror. Okay. I am openly saying what I am. I am I'm literally in a relationship with my sister. I have a four inch dick. I'm yeah. See? This was the worst thing I've ever done. These people all passionately. Sister, not decisively, I'm not admitting to that, but I'm saying if I so chose to. Nick was making this way more difficult than it needed to be. I mean, all he has to do is just read the slides. Is he actually enjoying this and learning something new? Or is he just bugging out? I can't, I can't tell. <sighs> God. Anyways, this is when I realized incest was the only way to truly maintain a strong connection within our genetics. So. Sorry, I didn't give you permission to speak. Let's keep this moving. Jid made this whole challenge that I had to stay in character, so I had become the incest man. But no matter how many times I pressed next slide, it was never ending. Society would be much better and we would have a utopia if incest was legal. That is an image on the left. Traditional society all at war with each other. And is, is incest legal in Mexico City? That's racist to say that Mexico City. That's not racist. That looks like that. It looks like shit. Yeah. That is not racist to say that. How is that racist? Oh, shit. We are not like that. There is no race in that left image. It is just talking about society as a whole. America's like that. Not destroyed. I am the last thing from racist. I am an ally. Of <laughs> people. Stupid challenge was gonna get me cancelled and I just needed to stop because I wasn't coping very well. And there was just this one lady who had the biggest issue with me. Is there anyone here who wants to make a statement on that? Sorry. How horny are you? Horny? Like, why are you just thinking everyone has to have sex? Oh, every day, I'm, every day, every day. Without even trying. That's my special talent. Horny without even trying. I think the opposite. I don't think everyone should have sex. I think you should, uh, everyone in your family should have sex. Yeah. Huh? That's disgusting. I mean, that's how I'm understanding it. That's not really want you to clarify. No, I'm saying, see, if I'm explaining wrong, then I apologize. All right? He does have a choice, but not every day. So only if he leaves one partner, he can then choose another partner. Anyone else agree what I'm saying? Sorry, you... Well, I wouldn't personally sleep with my father as I am not homosexual. But if I was, I would have <laughs> the idea. Oh, yeah, that's... No. Do you mind demonstrating your incest abilities? I don't have any family member in this crowd. And I would rather keep what's in the bedroom in the bedroom. Why would I be up here on this stage if I wasn't into it? Why would I be campaigning to get it legalized if I wasn't into it? Did you say anybody? Not everyone would be willing to um, get up on this stage. Let's keep going. I was making people uncomfortable, getting called racist. But this is genuinely the worst thing that I had ever done. Personal disgust or religion is only a reason why one person would not want to personally engage in what I call consanagagamuri. Consanagag.
Jude has never said a word that big in his entire life. It's not in his vocabulary. So I don't know how it spawned into the slide in the first place. And the toughest part of all of it was composing myself so the crowd didn't think that I broke character. I didn't know what to do. So I pretended to cry. <laughs> you insist. Okay, sorry. It's not, it's not nice to be on a stage and everyone think that you're some type of freak. I just want to be seen as a normal individual like everyone else. So why do I make people uncomfortable? Why? It doesn't make any sense. Free conclusion. Can I get a final raise of hands for anyone who has learned a thing or two from this presentation? It had been an hour minimum and I was finally on the final slide. Somehow I managed to make it through this hell. It took a lot of research, courage and thought for me to be able to present this proposal to the world. So I want to thank everyone here for taking their time of day, for allowing me to spread this message. Some of you have been horrible, but on the majority, some of you have been willing to listen. And again, I believe the world will be a better, bigger and brighter place with the legalisation of incest. So let's look towards the future and keep moving forward until that day happens. Thank you. I've set this all up to see if he would fold, and he didn't. So give him a round of applause. But it's not just my videos. Nico's posting too. So be sure to go subscribe over to his channel. Damn.